welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish and reviewing PayPal. PayPal actually was the best trade, the biggest trade, the nicest trade, the most beautiful trade. <laughs> and I'll explain why in a minute that I've called in the last week. So why was it so great? First of all, first things first, we, we did do day trades in this, but the, I'm talking about the options specifically today. So on 2.10, I called the 122 puts that expired today. You could have held them to the very last day, and you actually could have made the most money by doing that, and that is extremely rare. Normally, it doesn't make sense to hold to the last day if you're up in something. If you're down in something, it's a different story because you could come back the last day. Uh, but it's just so rare that you could hold something to the very last day and make the most amount of money, uh, and, and you could have with this. It was just a really, really nice move. <clears throat> now, why also was this the best trade? It was a lo very large return on investment. Just to give an example, you would have paid around two something for it, and again, you could have sold it today for, I think, 19 or something or 18 or something today which which is just crazy again yesterday was a beautiful exit but it didn't matter where you got out of it every single person that did this trade made money you could not have screwed this trade up it never did anything wrong we did puts okay they worked and it almost went straight down again it, i'm just going to show you my arrow here like I always tell people things don't go straight up and things don't go straight down. Sometimes they do, but it's rare. This was so rare because it literally went straight down. So again, if you're going long and something goes straight up, that's fabulous. If you're short, something goes straight down, it's fabulous. What do I mean? As soon as you take it, the trade is up and there's really no money management needed whatsoever at all. You don't have to think about it. It's up every single solitary day. This was up every single solitary day, <laughs> including the day. Of the last day of expiration. So it was here. The second day it fell all the way down. Again, we did the 122 pits. It came down here, broke 115 that day. Was down lower this day, 113. Here, this was still up here. Again, it was the 122 puts at 114. It was still up positive. Then it was up even more, 110. Then it came down here. Below the day, it was 103. I mean, so this was just a great read on this, number one, but it also was a perfect, perfect entry with the timing. So what do you need to be successful trading options? You've got to get the direction right. You've got to do that right with all your trades. I mean, that's just a fact, okay? You also have to trade stocks that move because it's pointless if they don't move. You need the momentum and the movement. Otherwise, it makes no sense to do them as options either. Again, that goes for regular trading too. But number three, and this is important for day trades too because you gotta be in and out flat before four, but it is really important with options because you have to get the timing right. You could be right in the directional bias of a train, even could go through the strike and you may not make money. You could lose in the train if you don't get the timing right. So timing is extremely important. And if I had to pick one of the most important things with options, besides directional bias, which just goes without saying, it's the timing. I've been extremely good at timing trades for the options newsletter. And this was just one of many, many, many examples where you have a huge return on investment, a very small, small investment, and then you get a huge return on investment for something that required, you did not have to think. You didn't have to think at this at all. Every person that did this made money. You didn't have to think. There was no thought process involved. And I wish every trade was like that. A lot of trades I have to think. A lot of market calls I have to think. A lot of times I have to think. I'm thinking 24-7. You know, my right now I'm tired. I'm, I'm happy for a three-day weekend. My brain is tired this week. But the reality is this, you did not have to think at all with this. It literally went straight down every day it fell and i hope we get another one like this uh like now next week <laughs> i would love another one like this um but there it is so this was the 
biggest trade of the last week. PayPal to the downside. Perfect timing. Again, timing is extremely important for options. And I've been spot on with that. And, you know, again, whether you choose to hold the whole thing or not hold it or get out some, you can't mess it up when something's just going in your direction. Again, this dropped. A put is a short. If you were long this, you lost. You've been down. And this would have continued even more if it, if it had, we hadn't closed at 4 o'clock. Now, what, what this does next week will depend a lot on the market. And nobody really knows what that's going to do at this moment. So that Tuesday is very far away for the market. Very, very far away, three-day weekend. But PayPal was the option of the week. Any questions, email me at melissathestockswish.com. If you'd like to sign up for the Gap Options newsletter, do not delay. You are missing out on great calls. If you want to be active and get involved, go for it. Email me for the sign-up forms. There are no trials. Do not ask. You cannot get trials. People are doing so well. I just had a fabulous email from Julie. In fact, she's going to be Trader of the Week. Let me find out. Find her email here, what she said. She said, it's been a great day and even a better five weeks. I'm up 20K so far, and I'm loving the daily excitement. My husband said to tell him when there's another zero in her account. <laughs> in her gains. So, and she's new. In fact, she's just been on the letter for five weeks, so. This isn't rocket science, people. But, you know, I think uh, one of the other things is, too, people lack confidence. And you got to get your confidence up. Part of that is making money. So sometimes when your confidence is in the toilet, the only way to improve it is making money. That means signing up for a subscription service and taking a chance at spending money. But you got to turn your confidence around. And I think when people are losing, their confidence is in the toilet. So the only way to turn it around is what? You got to start making money. And that means taking chances and taking risks. And that is part of trading. And quite frankly, it is part of life. So have a great weekend, everyone. Fabulous week. Beautiful PayPal. Have a great day. And email me at melissathestockswish.com if you want to sign up for the Gap Options newsletter.